Why is it that even beautiful women, bad bitches, are single today? It's simple. Feminism. Feminism taught you one that you a queen. You God's gift to this earth. You the prize. No, the fuck you ain't. No, you ain't. You ain't a queen. You ain't never gonna be my queen because you ain't my mother. You don't love me unconditionally. You love me under conditions. Your mom is your queen? <laughs> no, she's not. <laughs> is your dad your king? <laughs> hey, king, can I get my life? <laughs> Oh, bro, that don't work for me, bro. No? No? You don't want to ask your king oh, for permission no. to go out? Just a disclaimer, I'm a heterosexual male, but I know myself, and I know my boys, and I know how we rock, and I know what would keep me, what me would want to keep a woman around long term. So if I was a woman in 2021 and moving forward, how I would keep a man with money, looks, or status is so simple. The first thing I would do is allow the man to lead. Say, for instance, he was like, yo, babe, I'm going to pick you up at 5 o'clock. We're going to go here at this time. Get ready. I would let him do that because that would show me that he has the right qualities I'm looking for long term, provide, protect, and lead. The number two thing I would do is I'd be considerate. So if he's hungry or if his room's dirty or his house is dirty, I'd clean it and cook for him because that would show him that I'm a supportive woman, which is very important long term. So, Ron, I would make him wait to like the second or the third day. And when we do establish the fun, I would do it every day and I would have him wrapped around my fingers. And I really don't understand how y'all having these problems. It is so easy. <laughs> can we have an in between? Can, can we have an in between? That the in between is not possible? I think the in between is lovely. Yeah, when I'm out playing PlayStation, my girl gets up and she makes me a sandwich. Because whenever she needs a coffee, I'm going to make her a coffee. Mm. She cooks. Mm. I cook. Mm. Can we have it in between? Can we? Can we? No. It's always, yeah, I bring the money. My girl bring money too. I bring the money. Can, can she bring the money? I bring the money. She cook. I cook. She needs something clean. She, yo, can you clean that? I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. Let me clean that. And she cleans. Can can we can we can we, no no it's I mean I understand I understand where all that is from I understand where it's from, but I don't know. In between is not possible. It's not. Nah, a man never makes a meal. N nigga, okay, <laughs> o okay, but can we just have a little be, be considerate? It's like, brother, you're not gonna be considerate as well. I don't know. I, I like. I, I, I <laughs> you know, know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. In between. Just an in between. Just a little. Yeah. No? A lot of you guys are feeding into your own perpetual failures in life and then getting mad at the market and shitting on it. Women do it as well. I find it fascinating. Everyone's always blaming everybody else. Men nowadays. Women nowadays. No, some of y'all just need to do some self-work and figure your shit out. And it's a lot easier to say it's women. And even women do this. Women get on their TV shows and be like, what's wrong with the men today? Why don't they have their shit together? Because we going through some shit. We are. <laughs> and guess what, ladies? You going through some shit too. <laughs> you are. Yeah, you finding out that sexual liberation isn't always wonderful. Nope. That just being out here f***ing around and doing all this stuff that you guys now can do with thanks to birth control and all this other stuff isn't all that great for your emotional state. We're finding out this shit's weird. But I'm just so sick of everyone being like, oh, the, the other gender. No. You as an individual got to figure out, you know, like Jordan Peter says, clear your room. <laughs> yeah, did he say that? Before you yeah, go to try to fix the room. genders, motherfucker, clean your room. Yeah, clean your room. And I know people said that's banal advice such as clean. No, I'm promising you. A lot of y'all got some shit y'all got to sort out your own lives before you sit down here talking about the modern women or the modern men or all this other shit. No, clean, nigga, clean, clean your room. room. And the problem is that I'm a man. I'm a leader. I'm the toxic asshole guy, the tool, right? Because when we go out, right, you expect me to take care of you, right? When we go out, I pay for it. You good. We go to the store. Hey, hey, get some shoes. You good. I got you. But when I tell you to do something, do it. That's the problem. Don't expect me to chase you and beg you and get on my knees, bro. I'm not submissive. I'm dominant. And then what happens is I don't want to be with that. He's he's toxic. He's bad. Your friends tell you he's a bad guy, right? Then you go be with the nice guy and you end up cheating on him or leaving him because he's weak. He don't make you feel nothing. He don't, he don't blow the back. That's the problem. You're the problem. You're delusional. I'm pretty sure that the, 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 the delusion and too much expectation is definitely a part of that. Yeah, I've seen some girl on TikTok the other day crying about the fact that, oh, my God, I've wasted my time. And she just realizes that, shit, 
I wasted my time. I've been like on this, ain't no man gonna, and then and, and you end up alone. I don't want to, I don't want necessarily someone that nags. Someone that's always like reminding me that, how you go in a relationship with someone that reminds you, I don't need you. I'm a strong, I'm a strong woman. I don't need you. They don't need me over there then. Okay. Like that's a basis of your relationship. I don't need you. That's that's how we that's how we start. That's ground zero. I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't need you for these videos. I don't need and I can what? Yeah. He don't need me either, but it would be some other shit. You know what I mean? Imagine if every day I would remind you that. That's not fun. It's not the point. Focus on what the fuck you bring to the table. I guess. Make it work. Yeah. Thanks for the ideas, for the editing. I'm not gonna focus. I don't need what the fuck is that's nagging. But there's some people to focus on that. That's how they go out about things. That's how they wanna go fish. Sweet. So I understand what he's saying. But you know, one thing I've noticed, like there's a lot of people who all of a sudden become dating coaches. They mm -hmm. start selling seminars and doing all this stuff and it's very lucrative. It was very lucrative to come onto the scene and then have products you can sell to people who are looking for answers. And these motherfuckers come out the woodwork and some of them got no game. I know you ain't got none of that talk. You just believe in your cringe. Yeah. But because these people don't know, they're, they're, they're buying into the whole fake funk. You Even this guy talking about like, I'm an alpha dog. I'm an alpha male. It's like this nigga lives in his mom's basement. He does? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's like, bro. What you talking about? That's weird. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things where That's... everyone's trying to project that. Yeah, image. yeah, 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 yeah. Dating coach market is is full of yep. full of cringe. And, yeah. You know that's why me personally, I don't watch a lot of that content. I just take it as entertainment, generally speaking. But I understand the need for a lot of folks because a lot of people don't know what they're doing. But just know. There's a lot of snake oil salesmen. If I done did everybody on the block, you should still love me, cause I'm a high value woman. I'm a bad B. Oh, I I bet. So you want me to provide and take care of you? All right. Can you at least you know cook and clean for me? <laughs> you can cook and clean for yourself. Ain't you mean? I mean, you want me to provide and take care of you? Cause you're a man. That's your job. I right, well, if you want me to lead and provide for you and take care of the family, can you at least do what I tell you to do? <laughs> Not your slave, you narcissist, you abusive man. I, I I heard a couple of people say stuff like that, so I understand where it's from. So I'm saying I understand where it's from and why why he says that. It kills me that dudes who live in their mom's basements talk about depending and being dependable. It's like breath. A lot of dudes feel like they don't get to be a man in the relationship but also aren't ready to take on that traditional man role that they want. Yeah. You know what I mean? Some awesome. of you have not taken control of your lives. Mm -hmm. Some of you have not assumed your own characters. True. Your own responsibilities. This guy's a prime example. He's out here lecturing the world about this and that. Nigga, you live in your mom's basement. And I say this not to like shit on niggas that just understand sometimes financial is not there. But don't be out here talking about alpha dog, alpha dog. Mom's like, uh, Steven, it's in the microwave. What? Come on, bro. But that's a queen. He lives in the kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe, I think it's also like, just the way I think about stuff, but mm. at 17, I was outside of my parents' place, mm. had my own spot, working full time, trying to assume my responsibilities. Like, a lot of you motherfuckers gotta do that if you wanted to have this whole traditional role as well. It can't just be the other side of the aisle. You guys can't just say feminism, feminism. What about y'all? Because if I'm being honest with you, a lot of you are not ready to assume the responsibility of a family. I am out of it. All right? So we, we, you got to balance it out. And that's why I mean when I say this dating market for dating coaches is extra cringe. It's like y'all don't practice what you preach. Y'all fronting out here and it sounds great because you've repeated what other people have said, but you're not living by those principles. It's like the pastor who just reads the Bible out fucking little boys. It's a little weird. It's a little weird. Okay. It's big weird. It's also legal. <laughs> it's a, 